Hey guys, so continuing on from our series about uh, Quora questions, myself, uh, Rishi, and Jasur here. So hey guys. the next question we have is, other than China, what a great place? What's a great place to source novelty gifts? So to start off, it depends what kind of products you want. Now, if you're into history or if you're into uh, architecture, then definitely India is also one of the places where you can get novelty gifts, or you can gift to somebody else, or keep it in your living room, in your house, wherever you may be. If you're looking for certain traditional goods, China is also a really good market. China sells really good tea sets. Yeah. Sure. China has a huge tea culture, by the way. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for tea sets, like really, really small cups and a teapot, China is the best place to buy that. You can buy 50 million so I different. So guess this question has different sides, right? Exactly. Uh, I mean, you cannot answer, you cannot give several uh, options to this question, like uh, these are these are the countries. It really depends what kind of, just like Rishi mentioned, what kind of products you're looking for and who are your customers? Uh, what do you want to sell? Uh, in China, for example, you can get your gifts customized, okay, exactly. depending on your requirements and needs, etc. And in India as well, for example, I traveled to India a couple months ago, lived there for almost two months uh, and met with business people and visited the like actual bazaars and yeah. stores. Uh, some of the items in there you cannot find online. No. So what you what you can do is travel to those countries. Like India has a long history. Of course. Uh, it's a rich country, uh, just like China. You can travel to those countries and try to get your uh, products customized. Exactly. Put your brand and it's uh, everything is possible. And uh, another market, for example, to look for uh, to look in is um, the Southeast Asian countries. Exactly. So Vietnam. Vietnam, uh, Cambodia, Cambodia, Thailand, Thailand, uh, Laos. Full of, yeah, full of uh, history. Products full of products so it depends what you're looking for exactly yeah. whatever you want and you just exactly. very even, even in China yeah even in China I mean China has different regions <laughs> different products. products if you're in south of China it's a different yeah. uh, product if you're buying something sure, in north of China sure. it's totally yeah. different I mean in today's world uh, I really do not recommend limiting yourself geographically not okay? at all. like for example you say most people say that yeah I can make my uh, I can source my products from China or in India I don't think this mentality works anymore not right now, today, uh, what works is uh, being flexible. Even, exactly. for example, if you're in the US, why don't you try to source your products from the US first? Exactly. Because see, compare the prices. If your prices are you know, cheaper than sourcing it from somewhere else, cross-border, why don't you do that? It depends where <coughs> you're buying your products from. What are you buying? As we've answered before, so definitely, it yeah, totally depends so on the product. You have to be flexible and try exactly. to like, focus on the uh, market, focus on the quality and the price. Exactly. Now, see, China not really just competes on the price these days, it also competes on the quality. So quality is getting better and it has gotten better in the past, let's say, five years now. Mm -hmm. So definitely, yeah, that's also a key consideration that you should consider. All right. Okay, guys. See you in Thank the next so question. Much. Thank you.